Hey guys, so the lock I have today is just Schlage 855 156 puck lock. It's a lot like the American Model 2000. Well, we're gonna have to come up a little bit, but uh, it's a lot like the American 2000. It has the American lock keyway. Alright, I'm gonna try to get her opened up. Get you guys a good view of the keyway. I'm just gonna use a uh, Peterson Jim and Peterson Jim and eighteen thousandths in the one point two pry bar. The long side. All right, so it was like pin six. Oh, that was pin five was binding. It's pin two. Got a little click out of one. And that's it. It's pin four. Got a click and then a deep a false set. Getting some counter rotation out of six. Got a deeper false set. Oh, lost attention on us there. All right, pin three is giving us some counter rotation. I don't think I got it. All right, so got pin three, and we opened up. So, let's set that right there so we can get the tripod drop back down. Go ahead and grab a pinning mat. This lock is a little bit different than the American lock as far as taking it apart. And it did have a roll pin. Focus. It did have a roll pin right here. I did the same thing with this and just put some grub screws in there. But it does have a, um, a screw down in here that limits how far the core can rotate. So I'm going to go ahead and get it backed out now. And we will lock it back up. Turn those in instead of pulling them out. Alright, so the shackle is off now. We got this zoomed all the way out. Yep. Alright, so we are zoomed out as far as we can go. Show you guys the key. That's the key. This is a really old lock. Has some some pretty good bidding. A little gradual you see the back of this but so whenever you take this apart you want to rotate it this way well let's make sure yeah we got it as far as we can but there's a cutout right here for this set screw to ride into and it allows or it limits how far you can turn the core so if you try to pull the core out that way without using a shim it gets caught up so that follower. Alright, so here's a follower. We'll go ahead and pull her out. And that's what I was talking about right there, that cutout. Which will mess up your whole day if you don't prepare for that. Face this down a little bit more. You see pin one is serrated. Two is serrated. Three is serrated. Four is serrated. Or nope, four isn't serrated. 
Sorry about that. Five is. And six is not. But the reason those aren't is because the bidding. And it looks like It looks like pin one and two are steel pins. I'm trying to raise this up. Might have dropped it down too far. It's a little bit better. Let's get these pins out of here. Pin one is a standard steel pin. Got a master lock style spool. Another spool. And another spool. another spool and another spool so lots of spools in this thing there's nothing inside the inside the Bible there just the springs it's a lot like the the Schlage round body padlock that I picked but it has the two inserts two hardened inserts and then it has counter milling in all six chambers yep all six two look like it was a little messed up there but it just looks like it's got a little bit of wear on that chamber but that is it I'll give you guys a close up there's the key Alright, so got steel pins in one and two. I think that's a steel pin, I'm not sure, but regardless, there's definitely steel pins in pin driver pin in one and key pin in one. But one through six are all spools and two through six are well two is serrated, three is serrated, four is not, five is and six isn't. And then we have the hardened inserts. So it's a, I think it's exactly the same as what was in the the round body padlock like this. But that is the Schlage 85, 8, 55, 15, 6. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't do anything I wouldn't do.